Hi everybody, so welcome to another tour of my shoe closet. Today it's really, 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 really exciting because um, I just got a new box of shoes in the post. Um, I wasn't expecting them today actually, I thought they maybe would come later in the week. Um, so I've been having a really, really crazy, crazy day um, and they just turned up so I'm really, really excited, I can't cope. Um, I still haven't figured out how I can show you shoes and you can see my face at the same time yet, um, so I need to learn some skills um, with making the YouTube videos, but I'm sure you won't mind because the shoes look much better than me today. So I literally, I, okay, I cheated a bit, I already opened the cardboard box um, because I, ah, I couldn't wait um, and I just wanted to check that they were the right shoes. I like, I got them from Spartu, I always buy shoes from Spartu, they have never ever sent me the wrong pair of shoes but every time I get something in the post I kind of have this weird phobia that it might be the wrong um, shoes so anyway I just um, I opened the box saw ta -da, that they are Terry de Havilland um, and so then I grabbed my phone and I was like okay I'm gonna um, film this for you guys to see so let's get rid of this old box um, so yeah um, first of all, let's have a look at the nice box. You've got to appreciate a nice shoe box, haven't you? And this is a really nice um, royal purple with silver, all embossed, and the Terry de Havilland logo. Um, so before I open them, just, oh, I've got to tell you a tiny bit about Terry de Havilland. Um, if you don't know his name, then Google him because you're missing out for reals. Um, he's also known as the Rock and Roll Cobbler. He's designed shoes, um since the 60s um everyone who's everyone has worn his shoes uh kate moss bianca jagger Cher, even jackie o like everyone has has worn a pair of his shoes he makes incredible crazy designs um i read once that some of his designs um in the 70s were inspired um by him taking lsd i don't know if that's true however i could probably believe it because some of his designs are crazy but crazy in a good way like bright colors amazing materials um i don't know let's just open this box i can't wait any longer um oh so look there's um terry's website so you can check him out if you um are crazy enough not to know who he is so let's get rid of this Okay, now this is what I like. I like a shoe bag and I appreciate a nice box and some tissue paper. It's not a lot to ask, but so many um, designers get it wrong and they give you this rubbish box, stingy bit of tissue. No, it's got to be fabulous. Um, so this is really nice. When you go on holiday, you can take your shoes in the bag um, and they won't get damaged. So let's have a look. Um, so these are called the Stella wedges. Um, they're not as famous as um, the Margot wedge, um, which Terry also designs. Um, but yeah, I just love these. I loved the purple, and look, they've got it's um, like a I don't. It's not like um, maybe snake skinny pebbly. I don't know kind of effects on the bottom, um, and then all these amazing Swarovski crystals. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just put it down. Um, and then it kind of had the, these two like little curves, almost like a yin-yang um, kind of symbol. Uh, so inside, I don't know if it's showing up, but um, inside it's leather. Can I get a close-up? Uh, well, it's like a pearly um, kind of leather. Uh, a little pearl, just like me. No, it's not picking it up on the camera. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, oh, first thing, they're really padded and so comfy. Um, I've tried Terry de Havilland shoes on before um, in the shops, and that was the first thing that struck me about them, um, because I find wedges, they have to be really padded, otherwise they hurt your feet. Uh, but these are so squidgy. You could probably jump around in those, possibly. Um, so perfect for going dancing, strutting around in bars, whatever. Um, let's have a look. Look at this. Can you see this? Uh, maybe if I put my hand that way. Uh, it's not focusing in. Damn you. Um, but yeah, the, the logo, the sword through the heart is on the buckle as well. And things like that I just really, really love. Um, I think it's, you know, a perfect touch. Um, the only thing like I would comment on, um, the pair that I tried on, um, 
can't remember where it was now. I was in a shop, they had these amazing um, red three and a half round wedges um, and I was going to buy them but they only had one pair left and they were a size 5. I'm normally a size 5, um, some, sometimes I'm a 5, 5 and a half um, but the 5 were too tight here so this pair is actually a 6. Um, so yeah, I would probably go up a size, especially if you have a wide fitting foot, that's the only thing I would add. Um, yeah, they're gorgeous and I can't wait to wear them. I think they'll look amazing with vintage dresses in the summer um, and then even in winter you could wear them with like black opaques. Um, I think they'd be really cool. Oh look, we're getting a little bit of sunshine in the window, can you just see them twinkling? Yeah, so um, do check out Terry's website. Um, and maybe google him as well or oh, i don't know maybe i'll even write a blog post on him maybe i have already done one i don't know um but yeah his story is really interesting his parents were in the shoe industry um and yeah he just seems to have all these really cool stories to tell um oh one story i always remembered um apparently he was sat outside a bar with some of his friends um and the sex pistols came up and started pointing and saying oh uh, oh, taking the mickey because they weren't dressed like the punks were um, and so Terry threw, Terry threw a pint over the Sex Pistols I mean come on that's pretty funny <laughs> um, but then actually he went on Terry went on to design um, punk uh, shoes so yeah um, fascinating um, we actually have um, some vintage Terry de Havilland's at the um, Northampton Museum in the shoe galleries where I work at the moment um, and yeah, oh, like from a curator's perspective, I would love to do um, an exhibition of his shoes. That would be amazing. Um, you never know, one day maybe. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep on buying his shoes. Um, and yeah, I'm sure I will be blogging um, or Instagramming some photos of these shoes in action um, sometime soon. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any Terry de Havilland shoes, I'd love to know about them, what styles you like, um, when you got them, anything to do with shoes basically. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, catch you later. Bye!